What's up, Sagittarius? It's your girl, the Flight Empress, and I'm here to do you guys reading for December. Okay, yeah, y'all, happy birthday! I hope you guys are having fun. I hope you guys are going out, enjoying yourself. Just make sure you stay safe out here in these streets. So, y'all, we're finna get ready to go ahead and jump into you guys reading. Remember that this can resonate with your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus signs. Cross watchers, flip the energy around. Okay, this could be your energy. Put the shoe on where it fits. So, anyway, y'all, let's get into this, okay? Sagittarius. <laughs> I feel like y'all might end up seeing something this month that you may later on regret, okay? But I feel like whatever you say is going to be the truth, but maybe it's the way you deliver. Um, I feel like you might end up regretting something that you might say. <laughs> this is kind of giving me like, say for instance, you got a best friend and she go to the hair store or whatever. Um, and she go pick out a wig. She could have went and picked this wig out with one of her other friends or something like that. And she could come back and ask you how to look. You could say, that shit look like trash. Okay, it look like a bird that made a nest on your head, girl. Who helped you pick this damn wig out, okay? The, the store owner needed they ass whooped selling you this goddamn wig, you know? But I feel like <laughs> whatever this is, you guys might say, it's the truth. Okay, it's the truth. You might feel guilty about this after you say it, okay? But I feel like you being honest, okay? You're not sugarcoating anything. Somebody can ask you, like, how this baby look or how their baby look. You can say, he look like his daddy, okay? His daddy might be ugly as hell. <laughs> but you say, he looks just like his daddy. You know, you might not say the baby ugly, but you might say, he look like his daddy. It's not you saying the baby cute or pretty or none of that, okay? But somebody might end up feeling some type of way because you didn't say they baby was pretty or something. Oh. <laughs> but I'm seeing you guys kind of being really blunt this month. But I feel like whatever you say is some type of truth, okay? It's some truth behind it, but it's the way you deliver it. For some of you guys... um. I feel like for some of you, this is like, um, it's like you're, you know, the truth about something in your life or like this could be a person or a situation in your life. You know, the truth about it. Um, but you might still allow a person or a situation in, even though you know, it's not right or it's not healthy. Um, and later on, you're going to feel guilty for allowing this energy to come in. Okay. So I feel like you really need to make sure you're setting the boundaries. Um, if you already know that something here is not healthy for you, um, don't, I'm hearing, don't give something a second chance or like, don't try to like make amends with something that you know is not healthy or something that is never going to change. Okay. But because I feel like later on, you are going to regret something. Okay. There could be somebody who's trying to come back into you guys' life. This could be a friend. Um, this could be somebody who backstab you or somebody who is two-faced. This could have been somebody you was dating, okay? They could be trying to come back into your life. And I feel like you got a really big heart. I feel like you believe in second chances or you believe in um, allowing people to come in and plead the fifth, okay? But... I feel like this is a cycle that you've been keeping yourself in. For many of you guys, you don't learn from something from your past. And I don't feel like you're going to be going back and forth with this person or this situation, okay? You could, like, say, look, I know you ain't changed. Look, I know things ain't going to work out with us. So the best thing that you can do is just move on with your life and I'm moving on with mine. All right? But for some of you guys, I'm picking up that you could be tempted to go back to something that's not healthy, okay? Um, I'm seeing also, family, you could be looking at things outside of you and realizing that it no longer hold any value in your life, okay? There's like an old shirt that's in your closet, just been hanging up in your closet, okay, that you don't never wear. Like, I don't never wear this shit. I finna throw this shit away. Or I finna get this shit to um, Good Samaritan or... Uh, not Good Samaritan, what is it, Goodwill or the Salvation Army, I'm finna get this shit away, like, I don't never wear this shit, okay, you could be throwing away furniture or, like, things that you no longer use or, 
you know, it's useless. It holds no value in your life anymore. Um, for some of you guys, I do see like you looking at things around you and realizing that <sighs> you need to cut the cord, okay? You need to get rid of it. This is almost kind of giving me like hoarder energy. Now, you might not be a hoarder, but you can hold on to things that um, is currently in your life. But like I said, it don't have any value, okay? It don't have any value at all. And you could be looking like, I don't, this shit is just taking up space, okay? It's just taking up energy. Why, why do I still have this, okay? I'm seeing you guys, you could be getting rid of things, or you could be looking to get rid of certain things in your life, okay? For some of you, you could be looking at your job or your career like, I hate this place, okay? I hate the hours. I hate the balls. I hate what I do. Like, it got to be something better. So I'm seeing for, for a lot of you guys, you're going to be passing some type of judgment here regarding the external world, okay? Certain things that's around you that you feel like, it's not making you happy. It's not bringing you any joy. It's not progressing you forward to the future. It's not um, helping you to gain any progress in your life. I'm seeing you guys like cutting the cord here, okay? For a lot of you guys, I feel like you're going to be evaluating certain things as well. Like, this is like things that's not changing. This is you accepting things that is not changing. Or are you accepting the things that you can't change? So, yeah, it's like, um, like if you've been trying to fix something or make something right or like heal something here, it's like, and this could be with people, uh, for some of you guys, this is your home. There could be issues going on in your home. This could be a place that you rent from or like, um, something that's temporary, but it's like you're not seeing any progress or things could be getting worse. You could be deciding to, you know, say, you know what, I finna let this shit go, okay? Like, just say, for instance, your car keep breaking down. Every time you turn around, it's something you gotta fix or it's something you gotta do to that car. It's like every other week you spending money and you're like, you know what, I just need to go ahead and put down for a new car. Okay, you guys, you could be like changing vehicles or you could be, for some of you guys, you might relocate. Because like I said, this could be a place that you're staying. It's always an issue. It could be issues going on with like a neighbor or something. You're realizing that there's a situation that you can't change. And it's best that you walk away from it. All right? Yeah, I'm seeing that too. For some of you guys, I feel like also, like I said, there could be a person or people trying to come back in. And um, like, say for instance, this is a friend that you used to kick it with or go out with or hang with. Um, this could have been somebody who wasn't there for you when you needed them. But it's like every time they need you, they come towards you. It's like, I feel like there could be somebody who's going to come towards you and ask you for help this month. And I don't feel like you're going to be lending a hand to this person or these people because... I'm getting like these are the type of people that drains you because it's like you try to fix other people's problems. But spirit is wanting for you to work on yourself at this time and also acknowledge the people who be there for you and the people who who's not there for you. OK, so I'm seeing like family. This is like you getting very clear about your life and what you want. OK, this is also like you're not you're not hiding from the truth anymore. You're embracing it. You're also is finding some type of happiness and peace in your life, okay? Um, yeah, especially if things been really rough, I'm seeing that there could be some peace that's gonna be coming in towards you, but I feel like you're bringing in this peace, okay? Yeah, I'll pull a couple of more cards, y'all. Girl, y'all, when I seen this right here, I laughed. I said, oh my God. Sagittarius is too damn crunk, okay? But yeah, I'm seeing family, you're going to be blunt here. There's something here you're definitely going to be blunt about. Are you going to be speaking up on, okay? And for some of you guys, you might end up calling somebody out, okay? And this person that you might call out, they know they're guilty, or they know that they have fault, or whatever you speak or say, they know you're telling the truth. Okay, 
and I feel like you're going to be able to see it on their face, okay? Yeah, you're going to be able to see something on another person's face when you say something. It's like they even know you're telling the truth. Yeah. Family, I feel like you used to try to uh, save face. Like, make, uh, for instance, you didn't want to hurt other people's feelings or something. And I don't feel like you're trying to, but this is just you being honest, okay? I'm seeing like a new you coming out. You becoming more authentic as well, okay? Spirit, what else? For the Sages, here he is. December. <laughs> I just heard an encore, okay? Can we get more? Um, like I said, it's like spirit is passing you the mic. All right. And like I said, you got something to say. I'm seeing you speaking your truth. I'm, I'm hearing like a lot of people could be listening to you or taking your advice. Or if you do say something, people are going to be like, damn, you know, this bitch is telling the truth. Like, wow. You know, for some of you guys, I feel like you might end up giving somebody advice and it could hurt. Um, but it's needed. Okay. I'm hearing it's needed. Yeah. But I'm seeing a lot of communication. There could be a lot of communication going on for you, Sagittarius, in the month of December. I am seeing you guys being more assertive as well. Um, but I'm hearing speaking up. Also, this is like your throat chakra opening up. Um, your throat chakra could have been closed off, but this month I'm hearing wide awake, okay? Um, a major activation is going on with your throat chakra. Some of you guys could go out for like karaoke uh, for your birthday, or you could be going to listen to music. This is giving me like a comedy show or um, some type of entertainment here as well. I'm also getting strong communication from your spirit guides. Um, it's like your spirit guides is going to be showing you the things that you've been selling for or the things that, the things that's been holding you back. It says your soul is telling you you're on the wrong path. Allow yourself time and space to evolve and find your true path. So, yeah, I'm seeing strong communication from your spirit guides. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing father figure or a father. There could be a father energy that's going to be coming through speaking to you. This could definitely be source the most high. But I'm seeing like the truth being revealed to you about something that's going on in your life that's been keeping you stuck and stagnant. Okay, this is like staying in a place that is it running water, like a pipe could be leaking or it's mold or, you know the the house don't really keep you warm the heat is messed up stuff like that or, or a car constantly breaking down or you know being in a relationship that's that don't make you happy or don't fulfill you or even thinking about a past relationship that's been holding you back or keeping you from moving on to somebody better it's like spirit is really going to be coming in and speaking to you guys but i'm also seeing for a majority of you this is you guys speaking to other people too Okay, people who've been settling in their life or people who um, has been keeping themselves in some type of illusion or confusion. I feel like you're going to be coming in and speaking some type of truth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling bound to a current situation. All right. Some type of clarity is coming in for you, family. And like I said, this is like, like I said, um, this is like being in a place that's not worth your um, time or your energy or your money. Okay, definitely job, home, car, something you've been burning your money up on. Okay, it's useless. Or you're needing to move. You could feel stuck like you can't move. But Spirit is saying you're wasting more money being here or being in this situation than you would if you just left or if you started over. Okay? But some of you guys, you feel stuck at a place that is not really providing you what you need. Or it's like you're unable to save or put money back. It's like you're always having to spend 
uh, money or pay bills or something. Or there could also be like a person here that every time they come towards you, they want something or you're assisting them and you're losing out a lot. Spirit is wanting for you to see that something here needs to be, it needs to be some type of judgment. Okay, on a person, a situation, or a place, something like that, that you've been doing here, or helping. Or this could be a place that you're at, like I said. I'm getting heavy um, assets, okay? Things that you own, or things that you have. But for some of you guys, this could also be like a person. I'm definitely seeing something here about a job, or some type of business, there could be a business that's going down, all right? And I feel like Spirit is saying that you're needing to reevaluate or you're needing to see something in a different perspective. Oh, yeah, okay. Family, for some of you guys, I feel like spirit is calling for you to like stay away from certain foods here. Um, this could be things that's toxic. For some of you guys, I feel like you could work a lot or you go a lot. You might not have time to like prep your food or like make your food for work, but you could be overeating and spirit is saying that you're needing to pull back from this. This is... Um, this is lowering your vibration here or making you feel very sluggish, drained, or tired. For some of you guys, this could be drinking, okay, or drinking a lot of pops or sodas or something like that. Spirit is saying that you're needing to pull back from doing this and do some type of detox. For others of you, I feel like there could be somebody who is wanting to come towards you, but it's like you know that this person haven't changed. You know that this is somebody who could be an energy vampire, okay? They just want things at their convenience. Um, yeah, and I feel like you're needing to accept that this is somebody who's not healthy for you, okay? It could be a new person coming towards you. And I feel like who, if it is a new person, you're going to you gonna know the traits, okay? I'm hearing you're going to know the traits because maybe you done been through this before or you dated somebody like this before, but definitely be careful about this, about this person. You could end up meeting somebody at like a fast food restaurant, um, I'm hearing this is definitely an energy vampire here. Or somebody could work at a fast food restaurant. But yeah, I'm seeing like there is no change, okay? Or for some of you guys, you could be attracting in the same type of people that you dated. Spirit is wanting for you to continue to figure out your own life or continue to heal your life at this time. Because there could be certain lessons that you're still needing to learn are certain things you still need to heal from before you jump into a new relationship, okay? But, yeah. Yeah, for some of you guys, with change in a reverse and burger here, um, you're really needing to, like, walk away from unhealthy um, food, substance. I'm hearing substance abuse. This could be weed, okay? <laughs> I'm seeing heavy marijuana here for somebody. Um, but you're needing to walk away from substance abuse here. Or like, I, this is giving me toxicity. And to me, nothing really is wrong with smoking weed, but you need to learn how to do it. Some people do it every day. Um, other people do it when they go into meditations or, you know, on holidays or the birth or, or Holidays are on their birthday, but I feel like somebody is letting their um, substance abuse get out of control. And this might not be you guys. This could be somebody connected to you guys that's trying to come back into your life. But I'm hearing that things done got out of control. It's worse than it was in the past. Yeah, you're going to see it, Okay. You're going to be able to see this very clearly. I'm also picking up, you're going to have a clear vision about what it is that you need to do, okay, this month. Yeah, change your environment. I'm telling you, okay. Family, I am seeing you changing your environment here. Or some type of fog here is going to be lifted. For a lot of you guys, you're coming out of some type of darkness or like something here that was blocking your way. But this is like you seeing things clearly, okay? 
yeah it's like you know what today i'm gonna do i'm gonna start over new i'm gonna change things about me i'm gonna change things about my environment i'm gonna change things about change things about like where i work or what i do how i spend my time the people that i'm around you know the things that i'm involved with you know i'm i'm making a whole new me and i am seeing you guys changing a lot about yourself but this is also bringing in a new you okay or a better version of you this is you tapping into your true self. But I'm seeing like, yeah, something is going to hit you like lightning. Yeah, I'm hearing swift. Something is going to take place very quickly. But I feel like spirit is preparing you for this or it's time. Okay, it's time. So family, that's what I got. I hope this resonated for a lot of you guys. If it did. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring that notification bell. And until we talk again later, I love y'all so much. Peace.